Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We are near Glasgow, Scotland, but we are in the town of Paisley, and this is where our Airbnb is. We'll show you the Airbnb and its surroundings. Let's go. entryway and spare bedroom right there but we don't have access to it they're renovating it this has a mop and a drying rack and it looks like odds and ends that maybe belong to the owner and this closet has a vacuum extra linens towels sheets a crock pot First aid kit, ironing board and iron. So, things of that nature. Kevin already told you this is locked up right now. And then we walk straight over here and here's the second bathroom. So, big bathtub. This is not a shower. I don't see any shower attachment, but nice big towel. Place to put stuff, which is nice. Towel rack and towels. Nice big mirror. Yes, it is. And this is the master. And it has a big window. Does this window open? It opens that way. Nope. Maybe it opens in? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, so it opens that way too. We like this. Yeah. Fresh air. And it has a nice big closet, so both sides are open for us to use. So we have space down here and here, and then behind the door, there's a longer area for dresses, long coats, and then cubbies. The bed looks to be about 150 centimeters. I'll measure it and put it down here. Here's the other bathroom. So a little bit smaller. It still has place to put stuff over here on top, but this one has the shower, which is nice. Looks like a decent size, not like a cruise ship. The other side is the living room. We love the size of this area. Lots of seating. I'm probably gonna park myself right there. And he had a little table in the other room and he brought it out here because Kevin said he would like to use it if it's possible. So if he brought it out here, we're probably gonna move things around a little bit. Here's the dining room. We got a door that leads out to nowhere. I guess we can use it to let air in, but there is no balcony or anything. It just it's just a straight drop. It's an interesting door. Well, I think it's more like a fresh air kind of door, which would be really, really nice. There's your air conditioning, right there. Feels good. Oh, yeah. So the kitchen looks smaller than the photos do, but it looks like there's everything you need. Looks like he left us some Red, <gasps> triple chocolate muffins, just for you, babe. Mmm. Ooh, little bottles of, ooh, Casero de Diablo. Cabernet nice. and Sauvignon Blanc. Nice. I'm gonna put that one in the fridge. So, 
<gasps> Yay, it opens the right way. <laughs> yeah. You'd be surprised how many times we open up that fridge and it's and the way open, over the other side. Way. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm glad. I'm glad it opens the right way. And there's tons of cutting boards. So if you want a charcuterie on this one one day, and a charcuterie on this one a different day. Wow. Or if I want my own and Kevin wants his own. Spices. I like the gas stove. White pepper. Sesame seeds. Bay leaves. Oh, I'm so excited. Towels. Microwave. Uh, yes, microwave. Ooh, well, a scale in case I want to do some baking. I'll have to see if there's tools and supplies for that. Oh, he left us some cappuccino. Oh, nice. This looks brand new. Yeah, I know. He bought it just for us, I think. You think so? I do. Well, I asked him if it had one, and he said it did. Remember? That's a boiler. Okay, so we can use this space since so we're not going to be needing to get in there. Oop. Nice. Fire blanket. <gasps> Cookbooks. And we have a nice big trash can. And that might be recycled. I don't know. Let's find out. Spoons and forks and any kind of hot pans. Pans. Mixing bowl. Measuring cup. Looks like there's some Tin and some other, yeah. Cleaning, Cleaning supplies. supplies. Sponges. Oh, it has these kind of sponges, so we might have to get one of those other. I have one in my. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um, He's got one right there. Oh, cool. Okay, that'll work. Plates. Plates and bowls, looks like. Leftover oh, food. Some cookie crisp. Oh, yeah. Everybody needs cookie crisp. Some glasses. Ooh, lots of jars and glasses. Ooh, look at these. Yeah. You won't be using those too much, will you? This is empty for storage. Okay. And let's see. Oh, tape and other. Okay. That's a washing machine right there. But that might be a dryer. Oh, a the dryer. dryer. That's where it catches the water. Cool. Nice. We got a dryer. Oh, you have to push it to open it. That's why Perfect. it's a candle. Perfect. Yes! What's up here? Honey? And what? chocolate sauce? Oh, that's the... Oh, fan. see? The fan turns on when you pull that. Yes. I just learned something. Glasses, mugs. Look at the nice size mugs. That's nice. Well, let's show you the outside now. This is the front door and the key fobs there on the right. Trash cans are right back over here. You got recycle, paper, and uh, just regular trash. Plenty of parking. And they don't look like they're assigned, so if you do have a car, I guess you just pull into a spot and that's your spot. Here's what the front of it looks like. Just drive in underneath there. This is the street and here's the bus stops. The 61 bus is literally 30 yards. Going up the road here, we're gonna take you to the little shopping center. There's a place to get some food, a couple convenience stores, uh, a boots, a small boots. That's the 61 bus. That bus will take you to almost to the train station entrance. Drops you off about a hundred yards from it. So, but that's the bus you take from the bus stop I just showed you to the train station or anywhere else in Paisley. Here's the little strip mall. It is a Sunday, so some of the things are closed right now, but you can kind of see what's here. A cost cutter, a tanning place, a beauty place, boots, and then the place we're gonna go get some food tonight. It's called Salt and Chili. It's really kind of good. We like this Airbnb. It is a one bedroom, two bath, well, one and a half bath, I would say. And it had plenty of room and we actually had a few different people over while we were here. It was very comfortable for that, but there's only really one bed. So you can't, it's not like you can have other people spend the night, but 
for playing cards or having a charcuterie. Yeah. It worked. The other bedroom is under renovations right now, so maybe it'll be released at a later date. Um, being here, it's a bus ride down to the train station, and then the train is about 10 minutes into Glasgow Central. And it's nice because it's not in the hustle and bustle of Glasgow. And it was a nice area. It was quiet at night. It's along a busy road during the day, so you're going to hear some traffic. Other than that, it was a nice spot to stay. I would recommend it. What about you? Yeah, I liked it. I would stay here again. Yeah. But that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on down the road. Bye. Bye. <laughs> We are, well, we're near Glasgow. Oh, God. We're near Glasgow, but we're in the... Glasgow, Scotland. Yes, I know I was going to say we're in oh, the town okay. of Paisley. We're near... Ga oh, God, no. We're near Glasgow. I had to say Gow. It's Go. It's Glasgow. 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 Glasgow, Scotland. Yes. That's the Airbnb. It's a really... get. I should always think about this stuff, what I don't say before I just put this stuff up, shouldn't I? Yeah.